right um so in today's video i want to talk about a few things um so one thing i know is i haven't seen posted on um on youtube is a video on how to do a steering wheel position sensor re recalibration on a um, c6 corvette or any gm um any gm uh car so um this is going to be broken up into two things i want to talk about first i want to talk about the tool that you are required to do this and the reason you do need to do this the reason you would probably need to do a steering wheel position recalibration is if like in my case i had to do one because my um i put a aftermarket steering wheel on my corvette and when i put it on i took the other one off it was straight but i guess the new one i put out probably was manufactured where the so on the on, when you put a steering wheel on there's there's only one way you can put a steering wheel on in a vet it has a um like a like a keyway like a small little keyway on the in the in the spline that you put on and it's the only way you can like kind of you gotta find it you push it in the problem is when i i guess when they manufactured the steering wheel that i bought it was it was slightly offset a little bit to the right so when i put it on my steering wheel was cocked in the left so when i was when i put it on i was got in and i was like i was happy i'm like i'm about to drive it and then went down the street the steering wheel went like zip just like that and also when that happened i noticed my service active handling light came on and i noticed that i i had no access uh, to active handling so what i did first was what i thought would, would have fixed it was adjust my alignment with the tire like just adjust it with the tie rods like i found the um a post online about how to recalibrate it and I mean, not to recalibrate, how to readjust the alignment if it ever goes out of whack. And I did that. And um, it was straight, went up the street, still, then it was still throwing a service active handling light. So I was like, damn, so what's the problem? So troubleshooting down, kept troubleshooting, found out that the, um, even taking the steering wheel off, putting it back on, it was still giving me this error. I'm like, okay, damn. So then... I said, you know what? I, I bought this here. Now, this right here is a godsend. And anybody that's going to be a, a DIYer with any GM car, whether it's the vet, whether it's any car that you get, I would recommend that you definitely pick up one of these as a VX Diet. These here I recommend that you pick up because um, these, this is like, if you have a BMW, this would be related to like having um, on your computer, like when, uh, I forgot what it's called, e EDI, BAS, or when F FKP, whatever they call it, or if you got an audio or Volkswagen, it's, it's like having VCDS. This is needed. This is basically gives you an emulator of Tech 2, which is needed to do any type of thing with diagnostics. I had to use it to... This is already paid for itself. I paid 115 bucks, I think 130 bucks for this. It's already paid for itself. I, I avoided two different trips to the dealership. So this not only, you know, was I was able to bypass my F55 suspension when I deleted it, when I took the shocks out, but also I was able to, um, I was also able to recalibrate the steering wheel with this as well. So I definitely recommend that you guys get one of these. This is, I'm telling you, you it's the this would probably be the best 130 dollars you spend once you get it and the setup of it is easy it's not that hard to set up once you set it up it's it's right straightforward and um and it's going it can just be used for uh, to help you with a lot of things like so what i'm gonna do with this video i'm gonna um this is gonna be a two-part video so i want to give a little brief review on this but also i want to show you guys how to do it um it's not too tricky to do but um, once you do it, you follow if you follow this tutorial, um, once I got it recalibrated, the service active handling went away. I had full access to my active handling, competitive driving, all the modes that I needed for. So um, but yeah, so we'll go we'll go into that um, right after this. So excuse me for the little darkness, but I'm gonna cut this off. 
So your first thing you want to do, like I said, is put it in um, ignition on mode. So how you do that, I'm going to start from the beginning. Start from it being in the off position. Cut it in ACC. Then put it into drive or reverse. Once you do that, it goes in uh, ignition on mode. So now you're in ignition on mode. You're going to go to... Um, your initial mode, you're going to go to uh, tech to win. I don't know why this keeps doing this. The tech to win. Then go to MD, MDI2 right there. And click uh, OK. Then click on um, the USB. Say system initializing. And that's going to beep and go bring up a little uh, thing like that. So now that you're in Tech 2, uh, press enter on the computer, press enter. Uh, then you go into um, diagnostics. Let's pick the year of your car. Mine's a 2009 passenger car, Chevrolet. Model Y, then go to um, then go to chassis. I mean, uh, go to I'm sorry, go back. Go to chassis, then go to electronic brake control module. Then you want to go to um, special functions, steering angle sensor center, centering. So then you press enter. So how you do it is if you're if you have I already adjusted mine, but if you have a if you are getting that error where it's showing you steering wheel steering wheel position sensor, it usually I think don't quote me on this because I might be right or wrong. I think right now my steering wheel is straight. So when you're driving up the street, they say I think you gotta be within 10 degrees. I think it's within between five or ten. Don't quote me. I could be right or wrong. But you gotta be in between five or ten degrees plus or uh give or take, which means minus two, minus ten or plus ten. Um mine's was minus twenty-seven before I recalibrated it. So that's why I was doing the error. Right now it's minus two point two, so it's within specs. Now I don't wanna mess with it right now, but what you do is just press reset. You press, re you get your steering wheel where it's straight. The wheels are straight. Everything's straight. And you press reset. Once you press reset, it's going to, it's going to um, come up with a, mo it's going to say, do you sure you want to reset? You say yes. Once you reset, whatever your, whatever your, um, your previous, whatever your previous um, degrees was, whatever the previous was, it's going to reset to zero. This is another thing too. Now, if you want to make sure number one that your steering wheel position sensor is working, what you can do is slightly turn your steering wheel left or right, and it'll tell you. That's how you know if your steering wheel sensor is actually working. So, if it's not doing shit, this is stuck there, then you know you got to replace your steering wheel position sensor. But if it's working, all you need to do is recalibrate it, and it's so easy. Just re you just press reset. Once you do a reset, it's going to take you to the options. Are you sure? Yes. And then boom, it's going to come with a bunch of lights on it because everything's been reset. And then once you do that, um, everything will be good. To, you cut it off, cut it back on, and then your active, your trash controlled, everything will be working properly. At least that's how it worked for me. I'm going to say that if it works for me, it's going to work for you guys. So um, I would do the reset, but I... after after me getting it, finally getting it right and not having a problem, I don't want to... Had a, which I probably wouldn't if I did it, but I just don't want to mess with that. But I, like I said, honestly, all you do is just press reset. Once you press reset, you should be good to go. Then after you do that, you just um, you just exit, exit out, exit out, and then just press the power button to power it down. And then just press, cut it off, and then put it back in park. Either you can start it up, then once you do that, everything should be cleared.
so yeah so that's pretty much how you do that um let me know if you guys have any questions like i said again like i said in my other video if you really want to find out how to set up vx that there are two videos that i can recommend for you guys one for how to set it up um if you need help setting it up there's a video out there for that but also you can follow cody uh Jorgensen's video he'll show you how to he did the f55 delete and kind of get yourself familiar with the va with the tech to win software so um yeah that's pretty much it for this video